What's going on guys? Welcome back. I hope everyone's had a fantastic week and they are ready for another Mystery Box Monday. I don't really have very much in here today. It's been an incredibly slow few weeks trying to find anything new to be honest. Although I did find one new item which is very cool, very expensive but very cool. I will show that in a sec. But first, let's go through some old cars. Let's see what we've got in the old cars. This one here's a little bit, a little bit how you go on, but doesn't ruin the car. This is the 1969 Chevelle SS396. Nice metallic yellow paint job from the Muscle Mania series. These are from 2015-2016 release. Let's check this out. It's not a uh, metallic my mistake, it is just a nice enamel yellow with your red and blue stripes on the side. SS396 on the side also. Nice red chrome rimmed wheels. Very cool. It's a great looking car this one. Definitely a very cool muscle car. Gotta love the grills. Very cool. Put that one up the back there. And keeping with the yellow theme is the Corvette C7Z06 convertible from the Factory Fresh series. This being a new for 2018 model. Very nice. There's the back there if you'd like to pause and read. That's such a nice looking car, this one. This has just been released in red, I would believe. So I will be looking for the new one. Nice tampered headlights. Corvette logo on the front. Blacked out five spoke wheels. And nice detail on the rear. Very cool, quite nicely detailed interior as well. Very nice, well, don't want to drop it. Next, what have we got? What have we got? Ah, another old car from 2015 slash 2016. This is the 1976 Greenwood Corvette. From the Mile to Wild series. I actually do quite like the Greenwood Corvette. As you all know, I'm a rather large Corvette fan. It's very cool lens headlights. 68 with the stars and stripes. Really nice, deep metallic red. Really nice colour. Love the gold wheels on this. Love the wide body kit. It looks so cool from the back. It just kind of look, looks like something's been glued onto it to give it a wide body appearance. But all in all, such a cool looking car. Up next, what do we got? What do we got? Ah, the 1996 Nissan 180 SX Type X from the Race Team series with your race livery all over it. Very cool. Nice metallic blue paint. Some wild 1980s style graphics. Very cool. Blue windows. Right hand drive. Nice amount of detail in the rear, even though there's no painted tampos, there's nice, clean detail in the casting itself, which is always great. Very cool. With the pop-up headlights also. Next we have got, ah, 
the Ford Bronco 4x4 from the Ford Truck Series. This was released last year in 2018. There's the cars from the series. Very cool set. Haven't had a chance to open many of these. I've only opened the uh, 1929 Ford pickup so far. But eventually we'll open up the entire set. I just like to keep a nice bit of variety through each episode. So we'll open one more of these today also. This is a metal on metal construction. A lot of people thought that it was a plastic plastic body with a metal base, but no, it is a completely metal construction. Very odd green colour with a lime green stripe and a uh, kind of a mustard yellow striping down here. Big off-road wheels, spare wheel on the back. Nice big chunky heavy casting ready for customizing. And next one of my personal favorite cars is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34 in this kind of olive metallic olive green from the 2019 Nissan series. love my Skylines. really love all of the Skylines. This colour is really good actually. Really nice colour. Nice amount of metallic in there. Got your black Go Faster stripes across the front, across the top. Nice detail in the front there too. Still want to get the uh, the new Fast and Furious one. Have the the basic version from the Fast and Furious set from a few years ago. But I'd love to find the Fast and Furious cars so I can get the premium version of this. It's kind of like on the top of my want list is the new premium version of this car. I'm going to put this one up here too. Why not? Just because it's such a cool, cool car. Next! 2014 Corvette Stingray with the K&N livery. Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series. This one. 2015-2016 release. Very cool. I've actually opened quite a few. Oh, maybe not. I've only opened three USA cards. Very cool. I was going through my collection the other day and I realized that some of the cards that I had for my collection, because I had two of these, one was a USA card and one was an international card. And the USA card was kind of bent up worse. So I decided to open the, the USA card for us and keep the international one in good condition. Really nice this. It would be very cool if it had the painted headlights properly. If it does it's not very much. Kind of see that there is a little bit of a white striping but it doesn't really have that much detail on the front. It has got the Corvette logo, K&N, orange and red striping, grey and gold wheels, Nice offset colour. Nice detail in the back there. Really cool. Nice clear roof. Nice interior too. I'll put this one over there. And up next. Oh, I forgot about this. The 1969 Ford Torino Talladega. With the 76 Get the Spirit. Uh, Union Fuels, I think that is. Union Service Stations. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, if that's not a fuel station. 
Such a cool car. Ah, it's already trying to escape. Oh, that's good. I can keep the package on that one. Wow. Look how low this is. Wow, that's really nice. It's kind of a uh, Ford Shelby kind of colors with the white with blue striping and your 76 logo on the side there. Nice chrome, chrome bumper. Such a cool, cool car. Very cool. And I put that one down there. Up next, what are we going to go for? Let's go for this one. Ooh, the 1969 Dodge, Day Dodge Charger Daytona from the Muscle Mania series. This is in a pearl metallic green. I hope you can all see that as well as I can. Very cool. Very simple. You just got the Dodge and Daytona logo on the side with some indicators in the rear. And this giant shopping trolley handle. Very cool. And Let's do this one. The Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. I have the uh, full set on display on the wall just above, up there. But I did not have one of these loose. So let's go and open the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster from the Fast and Furious series. This one being from 2016, 2017 release. Nice. I've got a, I don't know, maybe about four or five different Grand Sport Roadsters now. This one's really cool. The new one from the uh, Fast and Furious 5 pack has got different wheels, that's all. Can't quite read that myself, maybe you can read that and tell me. So cool, nice, nice silver paint, nice bright silver paint, really nice wheels, very cool. And we've got two cars left. Which one do we want to open? Been wanting to open this one for a while. It's also from my US card collection, but it's about time. And then we have 1965 Ford Ranchero. I'll open this one first. I'll save the one that I'm sure everybody wants to see till last. This one is also from the Ford Truck Series. And a fantastic metallic gold paint. Steely wheels. Nice white stripe. Absolutely awesome. One of the best cars out of this whole series. And look at that, such a clean, nice, clean looking car. These, uh, st these steely wheels with the white pinstriping on it looks really good with it. Nice front, engine coming out the front, out, out of the bonnet. No painted details, but it does have the lights which is really nice the way that they've done it. It is, looks exactly like the way that the real life ones look with the look kind of like a cross. Hot wheels on the back there. Very simple, but very, very nice. Very nice. And the last car for today's Mystery Box Monday is the 1955 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. And I don't know if you can see, 
but there's the blue variation sitting up there waiting to be paired up with this one. So without further ado, let's rip this one open. Oh, this is nice. This is in a, in a satin, satin red, orange and white flames, orange and white 55 and Chevrolet Gasser. Man, this is a cool one. Definitely much better than the blue one up the back there. But, wow. You can see why everybody loves the Gasser. It's just such a cool looking car. I don't really have very many in my collection. But every one of them I do have, I think, is perfect and look absolutely awesome. We'll just grab the blue one here quickly so we can do a quick side by side. See how cool they both look. So cool. And there's only one more thing that I want to show you. Tonight, or today, depending on what time it is for you, I found a Siku set. This here cost me $30. So, it better be good when I open it. I will not be opening this one today, but I just wanted to show you. This is the UPS Logistics set, or UPS Transporter set. The UPS Forklift. Delivery van, delivery truck, and delivery trailer. So, there will be a Siku episode coming up within the next few weeks. So, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification. And you will be able to see this open and on display so everybody can see it. Showing the working features there. And yeah. Until next week. I hope you're out there finding cool cars. I hope you're adding awesomeness to your collections. Next week I'm hoping to find some more awesome cars for the Mystery Box series. And if I don't get around to making a Siku special... We can just open this on a future Monday, future Mystery Box Monday episode. So, until next week, hope you have a really good day, hope you have a really good week, and have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.